Hello, beautiful peoples of the interwebs. What is up? It's your host with the most icy hair, and today we are doing an unboxing of the 2021 Asus ROG Strix Scar 17. This one is the top trim, it has the RTX 3080 with 16 gigs of. VRAM, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, a Ryzen 5900HX, that's the overclocked one, it has 2 terabytes of solid state drive memory in a RAID 0 configuration for extra speed, and it also has the 17.3 inch 1080p 300Hz display. So let's take a look. These are uh, very, very difficult to get your hands on. I originally had the G17 on order and I was debating whether to get this one for the extra uh, features, which is the optomechanical keyboard, the better speakers, but, uh, when I saw this come in stock, I decided to just go for it. And it has all the extra specs. So we'll set the laptop over here. I did get this off a of new egg. So they got to me really fast. So that's the laptop. It's a pretty chunky feeling machine, but of course it has a lot of power in it. So uh, another cool thing is you get these extra caps to customize the computer. So this one's like a silver finish. This one's a clear see-through finish. I believe in this box we're going to have some paperwork as well as uh, a little NFC key that can save your settings as well as uh, activate your shadow drive which is an encrypted partition in your hard drive which is a really nice security feature. You can also customize it to uh, sign you out of windows when you unplug it if you have to walk away so go ahead and try not to tear this i gotta save all this packaging just in case there's any issues but yeah it gives you this nice little keychain so if you're somewhere where you have to walk away from your computer then you know you you can take this out but you probably aren't really going to be leaving your computer alone it might be better for like if you have multiple people in your household who are using the same machine so yeah it just kind of magnetically goes into the computer and everything else in here is paperwork we don't really need to look at all that so i'll just set that aside and set these aside i don't think that there's anything in this half this would be for other regions sometimes they include a, a mouse or a webcam this computer does not have a webcam but not really an issue for me i have my phone or i have a mac as well as a work computer so this is the power adapter over here it's a pretty chunky adapter 240 watts the uh gpu in this computer it isn't the lowest powered one it can go uh 115 watts with a 130 watt boost i believe so pretty good power um there is people online talking about how they can also flash the higher wattage v bios to the 3080 in here so you know maybe that's something i'll do probably not though because I think that this thing already has crazy performance for what I'm going to need. Again, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this, but I think I'm going to. If it wasn't this one, then it was going to be the uh, G17 model, the non-SCAR edition. But again, after watching a bunch of reviews, people say that the keyboard on this one, as well as the... Uh, better speakers really do make it a more premium machine and typically I keep my computers for about five years so I do a lot of multimedia content as you guys are aware um, at the current time I still do have the desktop but that is going to be sold pretty soon to a friend who's looking to get into the world of PC so I'm also looking for a more portable setup so 
you know, I would have got another desktop, but yeah, I, I really want something that's going to be portable so that way I can game downstairs on my couch, be with my wife, my daughter, or even sometimes in my room while my daughter's trying to go to sleep. So this was really the best solution for me. So uh, this feels like a metal lid. So nice. This logo is going to light up. Another cool thing about this one, you know, we talked about how there's this end cap. So you kind of just slide it over and lift up and it reveals part of the hinge mechanism. But you can see there there's a little magnet on the end. So I don't know what color I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll do the, the clear see-through one. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll just slide that in. Um, let's see if we can pick it up here. I don't know if we'll be able to, but in this little dot pattern, it kind of puts ROG and then some characters. It's a little hard to see, but you know, if you get it at the right angle, you'll be able to see it in person. Right under here, there's going to be another LED light bar, which is pretty cool. Um, again, this is a fully loaded model, so I have no reason to open it up, and I don't think that I'm going to. But the bottom's pretty cool design, you know. Got the rubber feet back on top for those who dare. So they put a little bit extra into the uh, design down here. A lot of manufacturers probably wouldn't focus too much on that. So, um, you know, on the back, as far as ports, we have a regular USB, USB-C with display port. HDMI, gigabit ethernet, power. Um, now, this computer does not have a MUX switch. It has Optimus, so if you want a little bit of extra performance, the important thing is make sure you're using that USB-C port because that's gonna give you a direct connection to the GPU. If you go through the HDMI, it is gonna be going through integrated graphics and you'll still be using Optimus at that point, which, again, that doesn't really matter too much to me. On the left hand side you have two more USB A's, your headset jack, and nothing else, just a clean design. And then over on the right, oh, if we can do this with one hand carefully, we just have the little uh, keystone jack right there. So let's go ahead and open it up. I might have to plug in the power adapter. Okay, so there's the little screen cover again you know we can see the specs over here 360 hertz i don't know if i accidentally said 300 in the video at the beginning but 360 hertz three millisecond response it has per key rgb lighting on the optomechanical keyboard liquid metal on the cpu um i don't know if it's on the gpu you can charge the usc as the ai noise cancellation dolly atmos and then of course the overclocked processor um once i test everything on here and decide that i'm definitely going to keep this which as long as everything's working i don't know why i wouldn't i'm probably going to peel off these stickers because i like the clean aesthetic um it has extra function buttons up here which is nice volume muting the microphone which will only mute the internal microphone not if you plug in an external one fan control and then to the armory create software i believe that's the name of it and then you know you have all your function keys up here it has a full number pad and then it has this really cool split design here where you can kind of see into the computer so that's a really nice touch power button up there and then here's the trackpad Feels like a normal trackpad. I believe it has glass on top. So let's see if we have any uh, power left in this. Probably have to plug it in for the first use. So yeah, not turning on. So I'll have to plug it in, set everything up. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about it, you know, definitely let me know. You can kind of hear the clickiness of the keys here. That's the mechanical keyboard feature. But yeah, let me know if you want to see any benchmarks anything like that i'm not really big on all that stuff because again you know it's going to be a powerful machine the main thing i want to test is making sure the thermals are within the uh rating they're supposed to be but yeah if you have any comments leave them down below if you like this video remember to like it if you disliked it then dislike it uh, feel free to share it with your friends subscribe if you're not already and yeah, I'll hopefully be making some more content for you guys soon. 
Again, this was the ROG Strix Scar 17 2021 edition. As always, y'all stay awesome. Peace.